They're inspecting this um, Ford F-150 for you. It's a 40-year-old old vehicle. Obviously, the best part of this vehicle are all tyres and all wheels. Uh, everywhere else, obviously, there are age-related issues. Regards to bodywork, um, you can see the they've been blending it in. You can see the blend lines. You can see the uh, filler marks. You can see fish eyes. Um, there's a gap issues. I was everything is that's what you're gonna expect. There are holograms, there are loads of mapping present um, due to incorrect repair, more likely used or contamination. There's significant fillers in certain areas. This section here is a filler box, this corner uh, completely. Regards to underside and everything else, um, is sort of, I'd say, is a um, good project car. You will see the the bubble strap gaps. There is a door. There is imperfection here. Um, the blend lines. The roof has significant fillers used in several patches uh, on the places. As you can see. Um, paint is coming off there's a fish eyes cracks um, on that side prison uh, there are around 12 1.2 mm millimeters of the fillers used uh, it's been painted several times as the shade changes obviously you would expect that for these old cars you know that is basically the bodywork you'll see all the niggly things in all the normal areas but chassis in general feels um, reasonably solid you can see the fish eyes pigmentation um, on this side um, is a uh, quite a bit of filler used this section has a lot of filler used you can see the cracks developing again the blending line um, dust marks that's um, a lot you will see it this section um, all the way has a, a lot of fillers used um, again the paint is cracking etc cargo area um, is in a good condition a lot of surface corrosion on the side um, there's light damage on this side some corrosion some corrosion again same where they've been using masking tapes you've got lines peeling off paint same on that side more likely will be some water leaks here maybe from dry from dry windscreen rubbers i noticed there are uh, not wet but some patches where the sand looks like water been running down some paint leaks again imperfections everywhere panel damaged the, the panel lights not working reverse light not working um it's charging faulty seat is damaged um carpets are good mirror is falling off um so you can't see it yeah everywhere everything is like you can see a lot of imperfections right engine's been rebuilt recently um there's oil leaks there's no thermostat in there there's a leaks um gearbox cooler pipe leaks uh, crack fuel fuel pipes everything's a bit messy everything needs tidying up all the electric wiring um the earth strap um that's a uh, windscreen washer um it's got a new radiator in it there's a water in a cooling system so it needs a coolant in there it needs a thermostat um the power steering pump is not straight aligned i mean there was some or heating marks, so maybe it was something to do with um, for the previous stuff or there. Once they repaired it, with the thermostat in there, something wasn't right. So I'm gonna go for the rotors now um, and, and, and see how it sort of performs. But again, um, it is sort of project car from distance, it looks good. It starts on a first crank, there's no excessive smoke. There's nothing at the moment abnormal. Um, yeah, but obviously there's weak shocks 
one of the, as you can see, is bouncing around. Um, there is a sh top shock rubber deteriorated completely and a shock got excessive movement. Same as at the back. Um, yeah, it needs a set of shocks. So basically, the vehicle would need constant um, attention and um, at some point, obviously, you have to do something to the bodywork. Floor has been welded, both sides floor has been replaced. When you push the metal, it goes up, so they're more likely welded it from inside, not, not to weld that section. So, everything is expected for the, as for the project car, it does run, you know. Check the summary. I apologize, more likely it's windy, it's a lot of wind here, you know. That's pretty much the vehicle. I will have to rethink um, and take it from there. The wheel bearings need to adjust in. Uh, rear differential, outer bearings has started developing a play. Um, again, the chassis rubber is starting to crack. Um, yeah, you can basically find everything. Uh, for me to provide your prices, it would be um, more likely impossible. Like it's basically, it's at a stage where you need to do this, then you need to that. If you want to do uh, underside sealing and corrosion protection, you know, uh, there are uh, on a chassis, there are surface corrosions building up, so all needs to the treatment. But so far, it is sort of usable. There is a bit of oil leaks coming. I can't really understand where it comes from. Um, it's not excessive. It's, it's coming also from the gearbox side. This gearbox is wet. So, yeah, so, you know, when you are on these, it's a 40 year old vehicle, you know, so I would expect some money to be spent um, as and when required. The old tip is not charging, battery filter test, the battery might recover um, as due that is not functioning properly. So, 